So we are using a 21 millimeter socket to remove these lug nuts. Now I'll remove the caliper pin bolts to remove the caliper. What's unique about this Nissan's brake system are these abutment clips. It's spring loaded at each corner. So each abutment clip has two springs. It's a pretty clever design. It's not conventional, in my opinion, at least not yet, where each corner has a spring to push the pad back out after you release pressure on the brake pedal. See each of these springs? Okay, so you mount the pad, and after you release pressure on the brakes, it's going to push the pads back. Now I'll remove the caliper bracket. So with these new pads, it came with new abutment clips, so now I have to put the abutment clip spring. So this portion of the spring has to be outward, and then you push down and you press, and it has to connect to a hook back here. I like to use a little screwdriver here, bend it a little bit, and then it snaps in. So it's snapped in over here. But it also has to snap underneath here. There. So now we got it. Now we have to do the other side. Okay. See, it's caught right here. And now we take these old ones off. There. Okay, we installed the brake wear squeal indicator spring. This goes on the pad that's going to ride on the inside of the caliper bracket. optional but some people put anti-seize where the ears of the brake pads ride on the abutment clips. Something optional that you may want to do. Now we can preload the caliper with the new pads. Okay. And this spring popped out of here. So I'm going to hold these pads down. I'll use my C-clamp to prevent the pads from popping off. Okay. 
Okay, so as long as this ear, ear of the caliper is up against the pad, the pads won't pop off. Now I'll just slowly take this bracket off, the C-clamp. And now I could install a lower mounting bolt. And we're done.